Hello, Goranges are on view. This is the first video of 2024. Happy New Year to you all. We're on view for ourselves, 15th of January. So we're all just about struggled back to work through lurgies and, and horrible colds and flus and things. And uh, everybody's sort of looking around, slightly blinking their eyes, thinking what's going on. Well, we've got about 600 lots for you, which isn't bad putting that together over Christmas because you know not a lot goes on. Um, and so we're gonna have a look in the warehouse. Mrs. L, she who holds the camera, um, said to me, you know, people over Christmas, they sort of have a think, they, they clear things out, they think, oh, we could do with a little chest of drawers in the guest bedroom, or we, we need a mirror, or, or apparently. So um, we're gonna have a little look, things you need, you might not know you need them, but of course, once you walk into Goranges, sooner or later, you see something you decide you need, you desperately must have, Do you know what, hopefully. that is so true. It's so true, isn't it? Yeah, so, as, as was pointed out to me, Here's a pretty little George III um, toilet mirror. And these are, as I say about so many bits of furniture, not hugely popular these days, lot 72, but this is rather nice. Look, it's got a good color, lovely even brown mahogany tone. The original sort of gesso work running around the edge of what I'm sure is the original plate, the original glass mirror. A few little tiny nicks and flaws what looks like the original finials to the top of the uprights. And then it's got what we call a box base that has three drawers, uh, one loop handle that sadly has lost its original loop. Um, but be again, beautifully made, lovely skinny little drawer linings on its original sort of ogi bracket feet. So that's a sweet little thing. It's not going to be expensive, but what's nice is it's all sort of original and a few little flaws. There's a pretty little, box seat settle that's such a nice size isn't it uh, it's a real dinker so yeah. usually these are a bit chunky they're sort of three to four foot plus this is a nice little one it's also shallow so modern homes don't have the depth or certain hallways and things uh, you haven't got the depth of a great big one that sticks out uh, slight french feel about it in terms of the carving here and the fluting there's your box that you can still chuck your shoes and boots in or what have you um, so that is lot 44, again, sort of a useful piece of furniture, but with a degree of um, pleasingness about its appearance. Over the way there, oh, yes. a rather splendid Art Deco dressing table. Mm. You're getting that? Yeah. Um, it's, it's been well loved. Look at the drawer fronts with the sort of rubbing and the blooming to the veneer where, oh, 80 years of, of slightly makeup and perfume covered hands have, have touched it but it, it's nice the way the wood goes nice. around the central mirror plate the triptych mirror it's got a sort of deco feel to it it comes Matching from what stool. looks to be the original stool and it's burr wool i would say it's burr wool yeah. yes um nice thing it's somewhat faded would love a polish to bring it back to full color wow it would zing there that mm. is lot number nine. nine yes there's a matching sort of millinery chest elsewhere in the sale so we've got quite a few friends who are moving and so on things like this white the white drawers and so on i mean they they'll they probably be cheaper than ikea won't they I, I suspect you're absolutely right they will be cheaper than ikea so you've got a pair of um well how many gosh multiple drawer chests here that have been white painted um they're not of any great age you can paint them any color you want and yeah. you wouldn't be damaging the value handles are you can get those handles off unscrew them from behind so and then you've got a pair of painted bedside chests here lot 69 again um nothing fancy about them but they would certainly do the job they're solid wood and as, as mrs l says they're perfect to sort of stop gap um, or to decorate and beautify and what have you lot 67 nice two french low seat gilt wood frame chairs both of some quality uh, little nicks and bashes and what have you so uh, we sort of run on. There's a, there's a big leather Chesterfield here, lot 66. I'm going to go around. Can you see that? Yes. It looks to be, it's not a huge age, um, but again, it won't be huge money. It won't be expensive. It might well be rather useful. There's a curious thing behind it, actually. Look at that, this sort of metal frame with all these um, almost like printer's block trays inside it. Uh, it's one of those industrial um, lookers. Bedside tables. There we are, bedside tables to match the dressing table, lot 63, handles gone slightly south, the bits maybe and there's the bits also a chest are of drawers, inside, possibly repairable. Uh, so um, 
more of this deco bedroom suite popping up through the cell. So some interesting bits of furniture in the warehouse. Come along and have a look. We'll go and have a look at the smalls. Okay, in the main room, what's interesting? How about lot 719? Look at this, huge great painting. This is um, St. Catherine Reading. Um, it's a 19th century Italian copy, but good size and fairly well painted. You getting that? Um, it's a nice age to the back, as you can see. Always nice. I always like to see the backs as much as the fronts. That was what 719. Uh, carrying on round in the pictures. Um, this caught your eye, didn't it? This is Graham Clark. Now we sell an awful lot of Graham Clarks. He was prolific in printmaking. His specialization was this combination technique of sort of etching with aquatint and then hand coloring. So using watercolor to color it all in. Um, all sorts of subjects. This, as you can see, is Corfe Castle. Uh, some of them, all of them had humor, some more than others. They had deliberately humorous uh, titles. Um, he, he liked cricket was one of his things he did a number of prints for. Um, used to be very popular, slowing down a bit now. Um, you know, probably under a hundred pounds that one now, but, um, but still a following, lot 699. Next to it, 698, it's fairly cheerful, isn't it? It's very cheerful. This one is Russian. I know that because it says so on the back. <laughs> so it's an original painting from St. Petersburg, autumn 2004 by Ura Mizuriev, who was born in 1987. Um, but there, nice decorative painting. Again, not huge money from a deceased estate. Uh, lot 698, that one. From the same estate, a whole mixture of rather attractive paintings. I'll pick out a few more as we drift by. Um, Otherwise, the small's showing the usual eclectic mixture. Um, there's a Zodiac bull. I don't think we've seen one too recently. Lot 452. This is Wedgwood. Um, and this one, from memory, was Richard Guyatt, was the artist that um, decorate, came up with the decorative designs, the signs of the Zodiac upon it. Lot 452. It's a fairly well-known modern collectible, that. Um, there's a, this is probably Shelley. Yes, it is. There we are. Shelley, Daffodil Time tea set. Shelley sells well when it's the more deco designs. This, as you can see, is not overly deco, but looks like the full set, which is nice. Um, over coming up this way from the same property as the Russian painting. Here's something a bit different. 675. Very finely painted. Signed F or J Williams. I'm looking from above. The lady at her dressing table. Very detailed. I mean, as we say so often, not in the height of fashion, but really well done. Nice frame. Getting the light on it. Yeah. Yes, she's looking in the mirror. Isn't yeah, she? well done. Yes, she is, isn't she? Or she's is she looking in the mirror to look in the mirror? Yes, I think thing? so. Yes, to see what the back of her hair looks like. Uh, yeah. Uh, there we go. Well, that makes sense. It does. Um, so carrying on, something uh, different with a large bit of Moorcroft there. We've got some Wedgwood luster wares. We've got some of uh, Philip's collection of um, uh, Murano glass vases scattered throughout the cell. Here's a curious lot, 384. You may have heard of the Italian pottery factory Lonchi, who make very stylish pots. Well, this is a sort of mixed lot that's not Lonchi, but sort of relates to. Uh, this one looks to me like it's a French one. This is a lamp. Although it's modelers of ours, it's a lamp, the, the light fitting is inside and it's all pierced all the way through so the light will shine through when it's lit up. With it you get a selection, um, this uh, rather stylish figure, again it's a lamp, look there's the light oh, fitting inside, right. so I, I presume it will glow from within um, and show through more in some places than others, perhaps. Uh, you get with it a, a sort of almost lighthouse model, sort of Bakelite type funky lamp. You get a globe lamp base. This would have had a figure on top. Uh, this is Torino pottery, uh, Italy. Um, would have had a figure on top, which probably would have made it very stylish and quite desirable. Yes. Same lot, a plaster lamp base, ready for fitting on the top of a lighthouse. And a sort of strange pot there with a Charles Dickens Pickwick print upon it. So there's a curiosity for you. Smart clock here, lot 370. Bool work, we've talked about this in the past. Looks all ready to go, very clean, nice condition. Bright, shiny pendulum showing there. That is lot 370. How about an Edward Piper? Back to the art again, lots 3, 683. 
That's an original work, signed and dated, 1985. Um, no labels on the back, but it's all 100% right. And that, uh, there's another Opa Piper in the cell, but from memory, the other one is a lithograph, not an original. We we'll drift round to the other side. So over this side, uh, again, nice mixture here, but I'm picking out lot 252, always trying to show you something different. Uh, this is a bronze, it's signed uh, Kai's Back. You might be able to see that down there. Quite big and bold, the Snake Charmer. As you see it there, lot 252, nice um, gray, uh, green marble base to it, condition all looks good. Uh, other bronzes available in the sale. Now, a couple of highlights, uh, unusual things, we like to share you unusual things. Lot 459, this, uh, Dan's had a good look at this. So what are we looking at here? We're looking at a, a glass vase in the sort of Vaseline stroke for real style. So when you see this sort of golden tinted color, sometimes- The colors are really showing when you tilt it. Excellent, there we go. This, wow. When you see the Vaseline color, you're thinking more English. When you see the iridescent golden, you're thinking perhaps Tiffany. Um, this, Dan is sure, is Whitefriars, uh, probably Harry Powell for Whitefriars. Um, so quite a sort of niche collectible thing. Lot 459, hopefully make three, 400 pounds or so. Next to it, Compton Pottery. This is lot 478. You may well have seen the garden planters. Compton Pottery made all sorts of stylish sort of arts and crafts uh, garden pottery planters, but they also made the old figure. And this is a Compton Pottery figure of, um, from memory, St. Agnes um, with her sort of, keyed organ here. She's, she's often depicted with an organ. Uh, there's the mark underneath, chain down the bottom. So a little bit unusual, lost a toe, otherwise a few little nicks and chips, but fairly good, honest condition. Again, money-wise, probably end up three to five hundred. Uh, lots of silver in the sale. Uh, have a good look through the website. Um, there's uh, just a, a nice mixture, I suppose. Highlight for you there is one of these dish rings or potato rings. This is lot 855, nice big bold mm. decoration, typically Irish. And yes, this one is Dublin. Dublin hallmarks upon it. 1917, that was very well read of you. <laughs> Good. So um, yes, nice mixture of silver. And then a few lots of jewelry, not loads of jewelry at the moment, but I'll show you a couple of bits. 907, there's a pretty little sapphire and diamond mm. cluster ring nice color to the sapphire and next to it lot 909 there's a bigger and more showy emerald and diamond cluster ring so there we go good mixture of things for you to come and look at i think we're on view today actually for the for the sale on the 8th and uh, we're already seeing people coming through because everyone likes to get back into it. That's the textile sale, interesting lot. Uh, but this sale on the 15th, uh, good mixture for you. Come along and see us. Otherwise, have a look online. And uh, some people say, you know, do we have to come along to the sale? You know, we forget that not everybody is experienced and internet hardened. You don't have to come to the sale. You can bid online. You can leave commission bids. You can bid live through the various bidding platforms. We'll talk to you about those perhaps next time. Um, but obviously, best of all, come along and sit in the room, see it happening in reality. So either way, thank you for attending and we look forward to seeing you more in 2024.